Hey guys, in this week's video, I'm taking a break from the field and I'm answering a question that keeps popping up in my comments and what I see online. Uh, and that question is, how did I get in the industry that I got into? So how did I become a traffic signal technician? I'm gonna break this video up into three different parts. The first part, I'm just gonna give you an idea of the journey that I took to get to where I'm at today. The second part, I'm gonna ask all of you that are currently in the industry for a favor. And the third part, I'm gonna present an opportunity at the end of this video. Now, on to the first part of the question, and it all comes back to some of my fellow YouTubers asking the question, let's start with at Randall PW, seems to be a hard industry to get into. At Vino8MM, I wanna pursue this as a career and what certifications does it take? And at Siege Cannon, can you make a video of how you got into this field? So, you guys asked for it, I'm gonna give it to you. All right, here we go. So, gonna go back a ways here. Summer 1996, I graduated high school and I had no clue what I wanted to do. Now, I did know I wanted to go to college and I was the oldest of four siblings and I did not want to put the burden of the them trying to provide for my education. So even though I didn't want to, I reluctantly joined the Army National Guard in a telecom unit. And you know, it's funny how life works out because in the National Guard is where I actually found my love of electronics. You know, I grew up on a small farm and we didn't have many resources. And I think in those times you learn to be creative and resourceful. And electronics field kind of tapped into that feeling. So I went through basic training, my military schooling, and came back and pursued a degree in electronics with a specialization in telecom. Now, over those four years, I invested that time. I married my then fiance and I was gonna live happily ever after until I didn't because in the early 2000s when I graduated, all telecom companies were in the process of either cutting back their workforce or they were just completely laying off. So there I was, recently graduated and no way to support me and my wife. So I did what anyone would do, look for anyone who would hire me so I could pay my bills. Now luckily I got on with a telecom company which their whole job was to go out and install phone systems in businesses. And to be honest, it was a really good fit and more for them than me because my heart was not in it. And I think if you're working for an employer then you should be putting in hundred percent and I wasn't. So I continued looking around and around that time is where I came across an ad, if you can believe it was an ad, uh, for a agency that was looking for a signal tech. I didn't know much about signal tech, being a signal tech, what it entailed, but I saw the salary and trust me, I wasn't setting the world on fire with this salary, but it was more than I was making at the time, so I figured why not? So I applied and I got it. Now with this agency, I spent about 13 plus years there and I actually did learn a whole lot during that time and no two days were ever the same. And it was it's, it's such a niche industry. In the end though, the culture just changed too much and I just wanted out. Now God put me in the right place at the right time because during that time that I wanted out, a traffic signal distribution company was looking for a support tech. Now, the support tech, his job was to go out and implement the products that the customer would buy. And that would be like government agencies or, or towns they, that would buy products for their traffic signals. So during that time is where I really learned a whole lot. And I made a lot of friends, a lot of connections along that way, which co coincidentally is where I ended up at now, which is a state DOT. Now, when I was still there at the distribution company, I had this DOT that leaned on me heavily because they had lost their signal tech to illness. So when that job finally opened up, they asked me to apply. I did, I got selected and now I work there. So that is how I got to where I'm at today. Enough about me, On to my second part. For all you who are currently in the traffic signal industry, whether you're a public works employee, a contractor, a traffic signal technician, if you would, leave a comment below and explain how you broke into the industry. By you providing some information to them, I think it will give them a lot of insight and be very beneficial to hear your side of it. I'm only one person, I'm just giving my story, so to hear from others I think is gonna be great. So if you would, post your title or your position and just leave a few words of how you broke into the industry. On to number three, I told you about an opportunity. Now I'm gonna break this out into four subsections. So for those of you who want to learn more, start with number one. Look into IMSA. 
I'm currently IMSA level three field of uh, service tech, traffic signal tech field certified. And at one time I was level two bench, but I think I let that one slip through. Anyway, just let you know I'm certified through them. They offer a wide array of traffic signal courses and I mean, it's across the full spectrum. So they, it, they got great content. So look into them. Number two, look at colleges. You know, you don't have to go for a full blown degree, but look at getting some electronics or some uh, technical type classes that can give you a good foundation. Number three, look for a job that will let you job shadow or do an internship with them. Even if it's free, remember the end result is you want the education it provides. So I can't think of a better way than job shadowing or getting an intern with a company uh, to get your education. I mean, it's the quickest way to learn. And fourthly, if that's a word, I do run an online traffic signal membership that's geared toward the traffic signal technician. Currently, we meet online weekly to discuss troubleshooting, programming, wiring, and we do it with real world examples and problems. You know, and this membership, it's student driven, which means we're learning what the students wanna learn. Now, if you wanna know more about this, I left the link in the description below. Now, full transparency here, depending on when you're watching this, the membership is most likely closed. However, you can join the wait list. Now, I only open these doors about once a year. And when I do open them, it's for about three to five days. And after that, I close it again. Why do I do that? I am 100% committed after those doors close to teaching you. And I want it to be fun. You know, you've been in those classes where those instructors are just so boring and you just want to be out of them so bad. I don't want to be that guy. I want to be the fun guy. And if you're in the traffic signal industry, I want you to want to be in my membership because I think learning should be fun. And I think my current students will attest to that. All right, coming full circle here. Remember, if you are currently in the industry, please leave some comments below of how you made it to where you're at. And if you're interested in getting in the industry, hopefully read the comments below. There's information there. I hope this was informative to you guys. That's all I got for you. Remember, you can always visit my website at streetsmartstraffic.com and go to the link below if you want to know more about my membership. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Thanks.